Hey everybody, it's Multiclassic Gamer here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Barn. Well, I wouldn't say back, but we're here for the extras video for Let's Play Barnyard, my fifth LP, which I just ended about a few minutes ago. I decided to get right to the extras video since I just finished the finale. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna load the game and show you guys what you can do. You know, one player mode after you beat it. So there's my three files. This is my practice file. I never actually completed it, by the way, just so everyone knows. In fact, I don't think I put. Yeah, I didn't even get past chapter three. I don't think. In the practice file, this is my my main file, Archie, and this is my LP file, Aaron. So I'm gonna load the game now, and. So, when you first open up your file, you will... Okay, so when you first up open up the file, you will... Wait for it. Hang on a sec. There you go. You will get a text message from Otis. And he's saying he wants to see us in the barn right now. Oh, and before we go in there, I want to show you guys something. As promised, and I actually did this before the finale, but I bought the Barnyard Deluxe for 2,500 gopher bucks in the personal items category of the Gopher Underground Shop. Um, it's not really that special, but it does look pretty appealing, so yeah, I'd recommend buying it if you beat after you beat the game. But really nothing special about it. You do get a really high sprint time and from behind it actually looks like a motorcycle so it's kind of cool but enough about that that's the last look at it right there all right now let's go into the barn and see what Otis wants how to become barnyard champion we already established that in the LP okay so you'll go into the barn and you'll see Otis here and this is where he'll be for the rest of the game, pretty much, except for the night barn. At the night barn, he's hanging out at his usual spot, the milk bar. But now, from now on, in the daytime, he'll be here with Daisy. And this is their baby that they had at the end of the game, Ben. Yeah, they named him after his father. So, yeah. Hey, buddy. Yep. Hey Otis, hey Daisy, hey little Ben. See, they call him Ben, they named him after Otis's father, both in the movie and in the game. You are the barnyard hero. Those coyotes won't be back again, that's for sure. Feel free to keep exploring the farm and playing games with it with the animals. The gopher underground is still open for business too. And hey, here's the boy key. Sorry, it looks like boy from here. Yeah, here's the key to the junkyard gate. It's quite safe to go into the junkyard now, and it's lots of fun to ride your bike around there, down there. Groovy. Catch you later, buddy. There you go. The key to the junkyard. And whoa. The theme plays. I didn't know that. I didn't know they play a theme. Cool. So yeah, the theme plays when you're in the barn. A little celebration, I guess. Celebrate you got the you be in the game, I guess. I would like to save for the rest of it, but we gotta continue on with this extras video. I would have liked to play for. Sorry, I would have liked to. I would have sit there for an entire verse, but we gotta continue off this extras video, even though we're only four minutes into it. So we will go straight to the junkyard, but first, um. I want to show you guys some. Actually, I want to explain something, okay? You remember how we played Precision Golf for both Izzy Springs Golf Course and the Back Nine? Well, let's show you guys something real quick. This is assuming that anyone in the entire world ever wants to play Precision Golf for Izzy Springs or Precision Golf for the Back Nine ever again after Otis forces you to play it. It's assuming that you actually ever want to play this game ever again. Not like I, I will, though. But, uh... <clears throat> remember how Otis said that you can come back here and play Precision Golf or Precision Golf in Back 9? If you wanted to? Oh, wait. So, Pre Precision 9 Holes is right here, right? Well... 
and Sharp Squirter is right here, okay? And also, well, anyways, uh, so you got Sharp Squirter here, and you got Precision Nine Holes over there, right? And then over here, at the entrance, we have the full 18 holes right here, I think. No, 9 holes golf. So this is the, the regular 9 holes. And then over there is where you play precision 9 holes. So you're probably wondering, this is in case you ever want to play back 9 ever again. This is assuming that. Where do you, where is back nine, and where is precision precision back nine? Well, guess what? It's not here at Izzy Springs Golf Course. So you could spend hours and hours going around searching for to find where it is, but trust me, it's nowhere near where you think it is. You think they put in Izzy Springs Golf Course because of all the space, but no, they didn't put in an Izzy Springs Golf Course. They put them both in the most random location ever. Trust me, the, the location is just completely random. And I'll show it to you. I'm gonna bike, bike straight over to where it is. Hang on a sec, gotta get to the bike. I know where it is. And no, it's not this one right here. This is normal chicken launch, yeah. All the all the stars along this path are for chicken launch. Pretty sure this is easy chicken launch right here, and then experts right there. So yeah, it's not here either. I'll show you where it is. I don't know where the full 18 holes is though. He's the mailman's right there. A sec. Guess where it is? Or actually, one of, where one of them is. One of them is here, way over here at Dankweed Pond. All the way out here. Even though Otis said to go to Izzy Springs Golf Course to play, no, it's here. This is back nine, right here. This is where back nine is. It's all the way out here, not the Izzy Springs Golf Course. It's right here. Yeah, I don't know why. They just decided to put it there randomly. And then, as for pre precision nine, back nine, that's right here. Yeah, right here. And then, honestly, I don't know where uh, where the full 18 holes is. I'm not really sure about that myself. Yeah, I'm sorry I can't show you where the full 18 holes is. If it's actually, if it actually exists, I don't know where it is. I haven't gotten that far yet. If I actually find it in the future, I'll show it to you guys. But, now it's time to go to the junkyard. But just like Otis said, you can ex explore it all you want. For as long as you want. And it's also fun to ride your bike out there. So we'll take his advice and we'll take our bike in there. So we'll open the gate. Yay, I feel accomplished because I learned how to open a gate. Yeah, not funny. So, this is the junkyard. And you will see a bunch of, you know, dust flying around as you go through here. And this, you may recognize that school bus there. This is where the final battle took place, right here. Chickens were on top of here, on top of these uh, piles of trash. And this is where Dag sat in the in the movie where he's originally sitting was on this chair here and I remember he went into the bus too so he could get an advantage over Otis even though the bus isn't it actually the bus isn't as high as it was in the movie it was a lot in a higher altitude no elevation I should say oh and there's also a lot of treasure chests here too so you can definitely find a lot of money in gold rush in useless gold rush tokens too there's also a campfire right here. Need I say more? There's pretty much treasures all over the place here. Treasure chests, I should say. 
There's no recipe rocks and no notes in case anyone's wondering. None of those here. Thank God. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be riding my bike around, duh. So, let's go grab it. Yet this sign will stay here forever, probably. It's kind of a misleader now. So we can now ride our bike around through here. It's not really much, but there are some jumps around here I think I know of. Um, yeah, there's one right here. Pretty much whenever you see an overturned car, you can fail at jumping. No. Not fail like I do, trust me. There you go. So yeah, that's the that's a jump right there. There's no jump right here actually. Dude. I thought you could actually go up on that ramp there right there. But yeah, there's another bike jump. And that's pretty much all there is to it, I think. Yeah, I guess that is. Nothing really special about the junkyard except for the fact you can just explore it, ride your bike around. That's pretty much it. Um, so other than that, there's really nothing to the story mode. It's pretty much all you can do from now on. Just explore, play the mini games all you want, try to bring up your high score. And also, if you haven't done that already, you can actually meet the requirements to get 100% after you beat the game. But I wouldn't recommend waiting until after you beat the game to do that, because then you'll... Well, at the least, it'll give you something to do, but, you know, not really much. So, but yeah, like I said, pretty much I've showed, pretty much at this point I've shown everything I ever possibly can in this game. And if I ever forgot anything, you guys can point that out to me in the comments, and I will make a separate video to show off every anything that I missed. And other than that, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, there's also stuff to sh that to show you guys in the main menu. Um. Oh wait, hang on. There's something I want to do first. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to the barnyard now. See you guys there. Now, probably my favorite thing to do. Now it's night time. Probably my favorite thing to do is to go into the night barn, and I actually like to play the mini games that are there. Welcome. To the night bar. So, well, maybe I can just give you guys a one more quick look at the night barn for now. Um, now I told you guys I'll make the recipes again because the game froze. Um, as I was recording the episode where we made all the food recipes, no, actually that was after. I think that was after I recorded the episode, but anyways, yeah, the game froze. So it didn't save me making the food recipe, so as you can see, uh, some of them are missing, like, uh, yeah, six of them are, no, ten of them are missing, yeah, because I already made six of them first. Yeah, ten of the food recipes are missing over there because the game, so it didn't save before the game froze, so yeah. Sorry about that, but other than that, the barn, night barn is 100% complete. There's nothing you can do here except, you know, party. Party your ass off. And go down to the basement. You know, play any of the games here that you want to. But, yeah, nothing special. Got the Whack Rack Machine here, if you want to play that. Got Barnyard Darts, we got the Milk Bar, not that I would ever want to play that again. Got Barn Pool against Duke. He claims to be an expert, but as proven way back in Chapter 1, that is definitely the opposite of true. Definitely the opposite of true. Then you got the boosts upstairs, but I already showed you those, so there's no, really no need for me to show you. Actually, we could check for any loners up there again. Because last time I... Last time we were up here, there were actually a few loners up here. Actually, there was one. Let's see if there's still any loners left. Nope, three right there. Four. 
three. Three. So no more loners, I guess? That's what it's telling me right now. Okay. Yep, no loners here, so that's it for the... That's pretty much all I can say about the Night Barn, so... Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is go to main menu, so... Yeah, I can just quit. Yes, I'm sure. There's not really anything to save, though, because I didn't do anything, so it doesn't matter. Probably never gonna come back to this file ever again unless unless somebody, you know, points out something and tells me to go see it. Yeah. So, now I'm gonna go with bonus. And these are the, this is the stuff that you unlock when you plant all the milkweeds, you get these. You get stuff from the arc alley where they show you pictures, and you get to see some animations, but I guess for the sake of perfection, I can show you guys the the the, the artwork that the game makers made, and keep in mind, I did not make any of these pictures, okay? Just keep that in mind, okay? I do not own this game, nor, did I, nor do I take any credit for it whatsoever, so. But here's the first artwork. Boy and girl cows. And there's usually like six of these in each one. Whoa. She is ugly. Sorry. Um, yeah, that's it for the first one. Now for the second one. Wait. Horses and goats. Okay. Each one has its own title based off what what's in it. There's the goats. Okay, number three. Wait. Pigs and raccoons. Okay. Pig isn't in there? Okay. There's the raccoons. Whoa, I don't remember seeing a raccoon that fat. Okay. Building the world. Making the game. Okay. So this is a very old artwork from the game makers, I guess. This is before... After, then, th then there. So Stinky Pond looks like. Oh, cool! So, it, so the game went through a lot of changes as they made it. It looks like. I see Ben's Hill. And then suddenly they add that. So originally Grizzly Gulch wasn't gonna be there. It looks like. Cool. Introductory movie storyboards. Oh yeah, this is from the beginning of the game. Cool. Never forget this. Oh, Freddy. Pig, we got code red. Whoa-oh. Pull me up. Pull me up. Dude, you're a cow. I'm a mouse. Do the math. Uh, Peck, you better pa fasten your seat belts. Can you keep it quiet back there, woman? I'm watching the TV. Nice. Game Concepts, Concept Gallery 1, okay. It's loading, don't worry, it's not freeze, it didn't freeze. Oh, so this is, this must be like the beta version of the game, like when they were making it. So it looks like it would have been a 16-bit game. Yeah, it looks like it was going to be for the Super Nintendo, the way this looks. Wow. Aw, oh, cool. That would have been awesome if the joyride was in the top top view perspective. And don't remind me of that. Concept Gallery 2, okay. So, Izzy Springs Golf Course. There's the Barnyard. There's Dankwe Pond. There's... Oh, that's the Dandelion Mail, okay. There's a Junkyard. There's some junk from the junkyard. There's... Yeah, more junk. Mattress, TV, refrigerator, and pipes. Paintings and sketches. The barnyard world. Cool. Oh, there's that. There's the walnut woods again. 
I love walnut woods. Oh, they were going to have cherries and acorns originally. Now it's just lemons, apples, and melons. Cool. Carrots, pumpkins, cabbage, salt lick, chili berries don't exist, armor reel, milk. Oh, remember from NCS? Is this okay, mommy? You got the milk right there. What does that say? Furberry? Furkberry? I can't read that. Oh, yeah, that was from the movie, actually, right there. What if cows wore clothes? Secret gallery. Oh, my God. Jeez. That's crazy. Oh, okay. So that's it for the art gallery. I'm glad you guys enjoyed those pictures. Again, I did not make those. The game makers did. Not me. I don't take any credit for any of the art gallery or the animations or anything else that's featured in this game. I don't take any credit for it. I just recorded the Let's Play. That was it. Ig Squirting. Okay, so these are little movies like animations. Oh, Pedophilia right there. Bud hosing. Oh. Ew. Ew. Gross. Evil raccoon. Ooh. Mischievous raccoon. Ooh. What's this? It's my grandma. Oh, it must have been Wild Mike, I bet. Maybe it was Wild Mike's box. Root marching. Root for president. Huh. <laughs> nice. Goat on fence. Oh, don't remember where that was from. This game knows me way too well. They know what I, that I do not ever want to see this, except in this animation. I don't mind seeing this in the animation. But if I were to see this in the real game, that would suck. Well, actually, actually, I did one. Wait, no, this is if you get a game over in golf, yeah. I never actually saw this. Yeah, it sucks to see that. The Bucking Human. Straight from the Night Barn. Egg Talking. That's a long talking animation. Otis getting on the bike. Okay. Like, I really need to see that. Okay, that's it for the animations, too. And then you also got these trailers, but I don't really think it's necessary for me to show them. Um, they got a trailer for an Avatar game and the SpongeBob SquarePants creature from the Krusty Krab, which came out the same year as this game did. And actually, I do happen to have it on the GameCube. And yes, I am planning on doing a Let's Play of that game, but I'm not actually going to do that next because I've already got plans on what games I'm going to do this fall, so. You know, I haven't decided what games I'm going to do in the winter, though, so. I'll definitely consider this game someday, though, but probably not this winter. But, yeah, I honestly, I just don't know when I'm going to do this do SpongeBob creature for the Krusty Krab, but... Yeah, and then there's the credits, but I already showed you guys that, so. Oh, and Antics. Antics are where you can actually play the minigames, some of the minigames. Not all of them, but most of them. So, just for fun, I'm going to choose Girl here, because I didn't choose that. It'll be an Angus. You can play Chicken Launch, Go for Golf. And don't worry, it's not the back nine, it's the Izzy Springs golf courses. Tease the Mailman, I love that minigame. Joyride, Be the Last Cow Standing, Mud Jumpers, Barnyard Pool, Bike Race, Chasing Chicks, Vegetable Patch Defender, Cow Tipping, Milk Bar, Barnyard Darts, Whack Rack, and that's it. So that means that that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 of the mini games from from the game, yeah. So, alright, so that's pretty much it. Uh, you can choose the options too, but that's pretty much it for Let's Play Barnyard. 
I showed you guys everything that there is to show in this game as far as I know. If I miss something, then let me know in the comments below. And I will get to them in a future video if I did miss something. If I didn't, then that's going to be it for this Let's Play. It's going to be a lot. This is the very last video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed Let's Play Barnyard, because I certainly did. I had a great time playing through this game. A lot more fun than I thought I would. And the fact that I was able to commit to it is a big, is a big accompli accomplishment alone, because, you know, my most, most of my Let's Plays, I was actually unable to commit to them and I always ended up failing at them and Super Mario Sunshine was one, is a big example and so is Paper Mario 2 and Super Smash Bros. Brawl Subspace Emissary however I can promise you guys that in the future I will try and redo those let's plays I will definitely give them a shot again but next time I do them I will definitely make sure that I can definitely commit to it commit to them without a doubt so with that being said this has been let's play barnyard and i'm your host multiclass gamer signing out see you guys in the next lp well actually technically in the next donkey Kong 64 episode because yeah i already started so by the time this is uploaded i will have started so See you guys in the next episode of Donkey Kong 64, whenever that is. Bye.